When we were shooting in Bruges, he alluded to this script, Seven Psychopaths, by letting me know that in Bruges was just a rehearsal to see if he actually liked shooting films, that he had a real script that he wanted to shoot, which was much better than in Bruges, and that was this one. So before I even read Seven Psychopaths, I was, um, ah, I just, he's just a brilliant writer, man, spade a spade. I, I, uh, it being the second film I've done with him, there's, a, there's a definitely a shorthand, which is nice to experience. I read a lot of scripts every now and then you read something and it just, they say it jumps off the page and this one does that and it slaps you in the face and it gets you by the back of the head and slams you off a table and gives you a kick in the arse and it just really takes you on a, on a wonderful ride. And so I was delighted to be yeah, working with him again. But he's having a little bit of difficulty because he's already found the title and he's fallen in love with the title, the title Seven Psychopaths, but he hasn't come up with any of the psychopaths. Um, and as I say in the film, he wants the film to be about peace and love, but it's still got to be about Seven Psychopaths. So. He's, he's in the midst of that quandary. He has a friend called Billy Bickle, and I don't think he has any other friends. And he has a girlfriend called Kaya, and I don't think he has any other girlfriends. And he drinks maybe a little bit too much for his own good, but maybe not, I don't know. And, uh, and that's it, really.